I feel like I probably should have built this up before letting it sit for like two weeks, because now we only have $33 to our name. But at least we get to play in the snow and stomp on fur babies. But we're also making more money than we've ever made before because we get a bunch of boosters we didn't have before. So let's start the process. Level 5 sword. And then we'll start on the shields because they give me 8 coins per second. Now our current Ascension CPS bonus coins per second bonus is 735%. That means when we work back up to the big numbers, we'll really work up to those big numbers. But I just realized, the coins weren't really what we were saving up over time, it was the Slayer points, and we've got 123 of those. That's actually a stupid amount of those, so we're gonna start again right now and use those points to our advantage. Right after I stomp on these babies. So here's an easy choice, Ascension. So we get 123 Slayer points and an additional 431%. That is an easy choice. Because now we're at 1166%. And we have lots of options for what we can unlock. I think my focus right now is going to be the extra coins per second. Get an extra 10% coins per second. We gain double coins while using the boost. And another 10% bonus CPS. And then every coin I pick up will decrease my boost cooldown by 2%. And remember, boost means I get double coins now. And then finally, money laundering, my favorite. Each coin you pick up gives you 10% of your current coins per second. That was mostly monetary rewards, but that's actually going to make a big difference to me. Because I think these were boosting us by about 9 before, now they're boosting us by 16 per level to start with. So we're doubling our money already. So we can already buy the level 1 armor, and I'm just going to max buy things for a while, because we're probably going to be making that kind of money to just blow through all this. While of course upgrading everything here we could possibly find. Wow, we actually made a lot of money somehow. Because after buying this now, we're up to 3,000 coins per second already. I missed the baby. But I think we're overdue to try a new level. Not sure where this one's going to take us. I kind of like this now because I did get to jump on baby seals. Haunted castle. This could be fun. But as always, we need to keep trucking along. Level 4 boots, level 3, level whatever. And a reinforced shield. We're up to almost 100,000 coins per second already. Now we're at 121,000 coins per second. So this is going to get big fast. Because I'm just tearing through the upgrades. Now I got a level 3 ring already, so we're at 660,000 coins per second. This is basically happening in real time. As quick as uh, you're seeing it, it's happening. What are those things? Their money is what they are. Level 1 dagger, 2.23 million. And I really should be boosting more. That way I can get double coins. Those coins really do add up fast. That cluster of 5 gave me 43 million dollars. And I have 330 million total at this point. So then we buy the axe, so we're up to 11 million coins per second while also killing some bats and then we're going to start at the bottom and work our way up because that's usually the better way to do it. We're going to buy this for 500 million even though it's probably useless to us here. I just got a cluster of coins for 600 million even those of you give you 155 million. Money's not going to be a problem today. We're already ready to buy the staff for only 5.39 billion and I'm like five minutes into this. I guess I should probably unlock this. Now we're going to get four silver random boxes. There's 6 billion dollars, that means we can buy this, we're now up to 60 million coins per second. That doesn't include any of the ones we pick up, because that was a billion right there, and there was a double that gave us 3 billion dollars. Which means we can afford a drumstick. Ooh, how about a frenzy? Well, boosting. I don't know if it's worth it to boost, because we're going to miss coins, but we're going to get double coins, so I'm a little conflicted here. Either way, we're pretty rich, so I shouldn't really complain that much. 80 billion coins, can we afford our next upgrade yet? Not quite yet, but if we get this 10 levels, I'm sure it'll get an upgrade. And I should maybe be buying more of these upgrades along the way. At least the one for the axe, because that'll be worth it. One of these for 330 billion, or 10 levels of the staff for now, which is going to boost that, especially considering we can upgrade it for only 30 billion dollars. So let's add to that an extra 1.44 billion by spending uh, 300 and whatever billion, so up to 2.81 billion dollars a second. And now that we're over a trillion dollars, we're about to unlock the spell book. If we kill the devil, we get 100 billion just from that. Didn't take long at all to save up 3 souls, but also enough for the book. So now we're up to 52 billion dollars a second. And then we get a whole bunch more very expensive upgrades. But the collectibles magnet is the one we're going to start with, because that makes it easier for me, and I like being lazy. Plus, the magnet helps me suck in all of those coins, which means I never miss any, and those coins are worth a ton to me. These 6 right here are worth 1.5 trillion. So all I'm going to need to unlock that is 1.5 septillion dollars. And then if I kill 2,000 worms, we'll get an upgrade for them as well. Which I assume is worth it, it's just going to take a little while. we we'll probably upgrade this book a little bit though, because doing it once is basically going to double my dollars per second. That's going to add another 50% on top of that. And I just got a really rare booster to get 14 times souls, so I need to kill as many things as possible. And of course, nothing's going to spawn. I got my book to level 10, so now for 18 trillion dollars we can upgrade it. So now we're making 1 trillion dollars a second. 
which will help me afford this one that's only 200 trillion dollars total. And almost instantly, we basically have enough. Three coins got me seven and a half trillion dollars. So now we get our spirit. Level one, we're up to seven trillion dollars a second. And then we're going to buy the soul splitter, increase the amount of souls received in game by 40%. Plus these two, because there are only 150 trillion dollars between them. So now we have flurry of six coin, gets us uh, 303 trillion dollars. Nice and easy. And we're already into the quadrillions, 1.24 quadrillion. For those of you that don't know, one quadrillion is a thousand trillions. And we get a frenzy, so we're gonna make a whole bunch of coins right here. I'm gonna keep sprinting through it because I'll get double coins and it's probably worth it. I'm gonna ignore the devil even. So we got 5.13 quadrillion just for that and we got some kind of achievement. Every achievement we get also makes us a lot of money. Because things like this, Athena's Belt, increase your bonus CPS by 0.5% per achievement unlocked. We've got a few achievements so that's gonna help. Plus, each coin you pick up gives you 6% of your current CPS. Yes, please. We got a hoarding coming, but we're also going to get a level 10 spirit and then upgrade that as soon as this hoard is done. Because this is going to get me a ton of souls and a ton of money. There is already up to 40 quadrillion dollars. So by upgrading our grand spirit, we now make 161 trillion dollars a second. Then I'm just going to buy all of those, so there's 200 trillion dollars a second. We still need a lot more money. Quadrillions are not nearly big enough. So next we have to unlock the necklace. It costs three quintillion dollars. A quintillion is a thousand quadrillions or a million trillions. Correction, to buy the necklace, one level of necklace is only 150 quadrillion. And I just happen to have that much. So now we make 18.3 quadrillion dollars a second. Look, we just make a lot of money. I just opened a box and now we're up to five quintillion. Look at all these new things we just unlocked. I could probably buy them all and still have way too much money to spare. Then we can buy 10 levels of our necklace for only whatever that was, 10 quintillion dollars. I'm not really keeping track anymore. Then we can upgrade that for 400 quadrillion. That's going to double us up to 480 quadrillion dollars a second. I just got another 16 times souls booster, so it'd be great if we could actually find some souls now. There's a few which leveled me up. We've already got 11 souls today, so that's definitely increasing pretty quickly. After touching this, we are going to deal with the horde, and then we're going to upgrade some other things. I missed a lot of that horde, but I still got an unreasonable amount of money, so I'm not going to complain. Anyways, another 10, then hopefully three of these will get me the next level of necklace. It did not. Whatever. We're still making one quintillion dollars a second at this point, so I don't really need to upgrade the necklace. Though I did just find a hundred quintillion dollars, so let's upgrade that to level 35. We're going to kill the devil for 53 quintillion, and still don't have the next upgrade for that. I can buy another 10 levels though, then it's only five levels to 50, and that's got to be the next level. So before doing all this, we're at 1.89 quintillion dollars a second. Our five levels put us up to 2.1. But then if we're able to buy our upgrade, and we just got our booster of nine times coins per second. So I'm going to continually boost and jump into coins as quick as I can. The boost feels painfully slow when I don't have it though. There we go. That was 578 quintillion right there. That was 1.3 sextillion, which gives us way too much money. And we still got a lot of boost left in this, so we should be upgrading things as quick as we can, as many as we can for everything. We can afford the Hell Spirit now, so we're up to 35.8 quintillion coins per second. Let's boost, grab some coins to make up for that, and keep it going. We're going to buy one of these, and then we're going to buy more of these. And keep grabbing things. We still have another 30 seconds to go, so we can still make a ton of money. Well, there's another three levels. That's not too bad. By the end of our bonus, we have... 6.3 sextillion dollars and we're making 4.55 quintillion dollars a second. I would love to keep upgrading this, but even as it is with all this money, I can buy two levels for it. I am going to unlock this, which means random boxes spawn twice as frequently. Those give me huge bonuses whenever I find them. Like this one, which really only gave me 600 quintillion dollars, which isn't great, but the more of those I can find, the happier I'll be. I should probably be trying to unlock more achievements at this point, so I'm going to upgrade some of my basic gear, hoping to coax some achievements out. So I'm just going to max buy basically everything I can. We're making so much money that I should be able to jump everything up a whole bunch of levels in an instant. Like 200 levels. I'm not sure what the max level I've had for a lot of this stuff is from before, but hopefully I'll coax some more achievements out of it somewhere. I mean, I can buy 110 levels of the Elder Book. That's got to count for something. And then we can get a whole bunch of different upgrades for things. I'm just going to use my auto clicker for this because I'm not sitting through all that. And it all does look a lot better. I should maybe push a golden shield to level 300, but I think I've done that before. That could maybe go up to level 250. That might be a new one. I did upgrade my fireball to level 100, so now it turns into the heavenly spirit, which now that I look at it, I've had before. We're still up to only 4.55 quintillion dollars a second. I did finally get an achievement for great bow, so that's going to make things overall a lot better. The crystal bow is going to cost 3.396 trillion to unlock, but it's probably going to be worth it. 
and I did see a noticeable upgrade to my coins per second. The one upgrade I'm really looking forward to is Fetch Me Their Souls because I'll get 75% more souls in game. That would be a huge boost. We already have 20 which is a pretty, pretty grand amount. It's been a while since we had a horde to fight so we're gonna dive into this and look at all that money. We're up to 4 sextillion by the end of this. That's a decent little boost. After spending like 25 sextillion dollars on upgrades, we're now up to 5.04 quintillion dollars a second. This is a bit of a slow point. Luckily for you, I've got nothing but time on my hands. A few minutes have passed, we're up to 165 sextillion dollars, which means we can unlock advanced quests. So let's take a look at these and see if they're anything worthwhile. We have things like pick up 500 coins, that won't actually take a too long time at all, plus just randomly killing enemies. So when we get things like a horde, that makes it much easier. Plus that pushed me almost a third of the way to kill 300 flying enemies already. And a frenzy like this will definitely get me a lot closer to 500 coins. I'm not even done this horde and already I've got some kind of upgrade waiting for me. One of my quests is done. Pick up 500 coins, already done. And I think that unlocked this for uh, 399 octillion dollars I can get new quests, but it's going to be a long time before we hit that number. Well with the coins per second and the amount of souls we're getting, I think it's a good time to let the game sit for maybe 12 hours and see what happens after that. The next day. Turns out that was closer to about 24 hours, but look at what we got. We're now up to 1.05 septillion dollars and that's a new achievement. And we have some rewards from killing a bunch of other things while we were away. But even with this frenzy, we still don't have enough to unlock any of this stuff that costs 1.2 septillion because 1.2 septillion is a really big number even for me still. So what we possibly could do is unlock bigger coin patterns and increase my bonus CPS by 3% per achievement unlocked, which actually made a really big difference to my coins per second, 10.5 quintillion coins per second. And then if I use my boost, we'll hopefully get extra, extra, extra coins. I mean, that's 323 quintillion all by itself. Anyways, as much fun as that all is, we're going to take the portal to a new area so we have a new visual. And I think we're back to where we started on the hills, which is some kind of achievement by itself. Which means we get to fight the golems again, and hopefully these guys give me a lot. Well, we get a full level for killing one of those. Speaking of 221 things, we're going to restart. Because we'll get an extra 774% ascension coins per second, which also gives us another achievement. And then I've got 224 coins to spend, which isn't the 6500 we need for sapphires. And given the options available to us right now, I think we're going to go for green ore, gain 8% bonus CPS for 35 coins. And for 50, we're going to get each coin you pick up gives you plus 15% of your current CPS. Maybe like this one, you gain 1% bonus CPS for each day that has passed since you started playing. I don't remember when we started playing, but that's got to be a pretty sizable chunk of money. All enemy evolutions are 50% cheaper. I think next we're going to buy both of these because 10% bonus coins per second and we can't afford the other one. We're one point short of it. I guess we'll take a 20% souls boost because that's actually pretty big by itself. And then we're going to start making money extra 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 fast. Because I'm pretty sure the shield when we started playing was giving me like 8.3 coins per second. It's giving me 36 now. And you get the drill. We will pick up here once we're back to about where we were before or maybe further. And I've got a bonus right now for 48 times coin value, so I definitely need to pick up all of these that I can right now. Like this big group. That was 15.8 trillion all by itself. So these coins are definitely worth a fortune to me now. Those 5 I just picked up, 30 trillion dollars. How about these 9 coins without any boosts? 13.2 quadrillion, so the numbers are going up pretty quick. And then after buying all the way up to the necklace and then upgrading it, we're at 1 quintillion dollars a second already. One quintillion, we can keep upgrading it if we want for bigger numbers. Because the higher my dollars per second value is, the more money I get from coins. Those three by themselves are worth 87 quintillion dollars. While we're at it, I'm going to keep upgrading this just to get more and more money out of those coins every time I see them. So now these six, 1.6 sextillion. I managed to put my necklace all the way up to level 80. So we're now making 109 quintillion dollars a second, at least while the bonus is active. Probably also afford some upgrades here. Should have maybe done the coin patterns. And maybe most impressively of all is we already have 12 souls. That's a crazy fast amount of time to pick up 12 souls. And a nice little coin frenzy that's going to get us about 9 sextillion dollars. Here's another 9 coins per second bonus, so while I have this activated, maybe I'm going to go ahead and buy this for bigger coin patterns. Hopefully that works out. That's a pretty big investment to make, but I feel like we can make quite a bit of money. This guy, however, is going to be in our way, which kind of sucks. Because I need to be running full speed ahead for the next minute to pick up as many coins as possible, but this bigger coin pattern I think is going to work out pretty nice. Probably should have jumped right over this guy now that I think about it. But if you want someone who makes the right choices, 
don't be on my channel. For the first time ever, I've got a 20 times souls bonus, so that would be really cool if I could hit one of the rock golems that show up at every... Oh, we got one actually. This is going to give me like 20 souls all by itself. 28 to start and... 42. Well, about 15 souls. That's good enough. But also that reminds me, I'm going to buy this, which is going to double our coins per second. So that's kind of helpful. 226 quintillion dollars a second. Not too bad. Kind of getting to the point where I don't really know what to do with my money anymore. We can obviously keep upgrading things, but I need to have something to attach myself to to look forward to. Like 10% bonus CPS would be cool. While I'm thinking about it, I can just sit here and murder all of these innocent flying bugs. And that makes me feel good. Got another 9 times coins bonus, so I'm going to take advantage of that jumping right over him. I'm also going to buy as many of those as I can to help take advantage of this 9 times coins bonus because we're only 8 away from the next level which will make our numbers go way 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 up. Unless this is a frenzy, which is not, but it is 32 sextillion dollars so I'll take that. Uh, the next 4 levels are probably going to cost like a septillion dollars but it's probably worth the wait. We are also now making 30 quintillion dollars a second for a base rate so that's not too bad at all. We can take a bonus level if we want. I've been avoiding these, but I figure now with all my new upgrades, we'll maybe get new stuff. And I'm pretty sure this is a different bonus level than what we saw before. Uh, this does seem a little bit different. So far, it's still pretty easy, but hopefully it gives me like a thousand souls for completing it. First level at least isn't too bad. It's a little bit hard to catch those, but there we go. We get a reward of coins. Uh, didn't realize I had to be jumping there, but whatever. There's 22 sextillion. I imagine this bunch is going to be considerably harder, but so far I think it's actually easier because, well, that's just pretty easy to me. This one is definitely going a little bit faster. It's going to require a lot more of my attention. I don't know if I'm going to finish this one, to be honest with you, but we'll do our best. Uh, might have screwed that one up. We're okay, though. Uh, we don't have a lot of time left to finish this, so hopefully we get, like, all of these. And, yeah, we did it. All right. Now we get a whole bunch of coins if I could actually pick them up. It's really annoying to time that jump. There's another 35 sextillion and we get an achievement. And we get a new character, apparently. So I guess now I'll just go back to upgrading my necklace one time. But our first silver box gave us a hoard, so there's another 100 sextillion dollars and we're up to 60 souls. Well, here's another nine times coins per second. So we're making almost 300 quintillion dollars a second at its base. But as we pick up all these coins, we're making a lot more. And I realize it's probably worth it to fight these guys because we go from 165 up to 199 sextillion dollars. They're worth a lot to kill. Also, I should probably upgrade this at least once. We got one more level to go before our next necklace upgrade. And we should be able to do it by the end of our coin bonus. So that's helpful. Well, at least afford level 100. I don't know if we're actually going to be able to afford its upgrade, but nice necklace. It actually only costs 150 sextillion dollars, so that won't be too hard to make, especially with this bonus still going. So he can die, we'll grab those, and we're almost there already. This might put us over the top, depending what it is. 15 times souls. Okay, we've still got work to do. Grab all of those, and then we're going to uh, upgrade that really quick, so we're up to 382 quintillion dollars a second. While very slowly running towards these bees. Well, we're up to 42.4 quintillion dollars a second, which is considerably further than where we started. So now, naturally, it's time to max buy swords up to 351. And then actually uh, buy all of those up to 950 quintillion for the super sword. Oh, actually, that one's 650. Oh, that gives you 3000% more coins, though. I should probably look at unlocking more of these basic items because that's insane. We're definitely going to save up for that next time.